This is a simulation of the Ehrenfest urn model. Ehrenfest was a Dutch physicist who developed this model. This is a short explanation of it. We are going to simulate this with VBA. But for those of you who don't feel comfortable with VBA, I will also give you formulas to do so, which is a little more clumsy. But let's start with the formulas. And if you want to really use VBA, then skip this part. This is the idea. We have a board that has 8 by 8 cells on it. They all start with an X. At this point, a few were already replaced with an O. So how do we regulate that? We use a random row number between 1 and 8. Either use the rand between function or int with rand if you don't have an, a new version of Excel and do the same for the columns. And based on those two we are going to redo this board with the following formula that we put in all the highlighted cells. You have to put iterations on because the formula refers to itself. When you start in A1 then A1 refers to itself. So you need options, formulas, iteration on with one maximum iteration. Okay. So that will redo everything in here. So if I press F9 then it will change certain things in there. How do I see what changed? I added three new columns. They look like this. The first one gives you a run count that is J2 itself plus 1. Each time it adds plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. This one counts all the X's. This one counts all the O's. And then we put in here in K1 through K100 we put this formula. I put it here magnified and in the next column I put in all those cells this formula. So it keeps counting how many we have. So we had originally 63 X's and 1 O and then 3 O's, 4 O's, etc. So each time I press F9 the graph will build up. And I'm holding F9 so it does it a little quicker and you will see that it reaches an equilibri equilibrium very fast somewhere in the middle. That's what the model pretends. So if you do this then you may want to start all over again to simulate it again. So you highlight that entire range, you click in the formula bar and hold Control Enter. Press Control Enter. Everything starts with an X again. Then we have to also reset the run number. Click in the formula bar, Control Enter. It starts at 1. Then we have to reset the entire K column. Click in the formula bar, Control Enter. Do the same for column L. Click in the formula bar, Control Enter. And we start everything all over again. F9. And I'm doing this. It's, it's a little clumsy to do it this way. So you probably prefer to do it with VBA if you are not afraid of VBA. On this sheet I did things with VBA. And you will see it, it does something similar. But this time we use code, a script. I created two subroutines. One with a shortcut, Control shift r and Control shift e How do you create those? You go to the Developers tab. If you don't have that, you have to go to Options and implement the Developers tab. Go to Macros and select Equilibrium Options and type there Shift-E or whatever abbreviation you want. The Control key kicks in automatically and you do something similar for Reset. Okay. So to reset everything I do Control-Shift-R and the board has all axes in it. Now we are going to run everything, Control shift e and I keep holding those keys so it builds up kind of quickly. And again there is randomness involved. That is the whole idea behind this simulation. And it will tend to an equilibrium somewhere 
on stage. How did we create that VBA? You go to VBA, Alt F11, insert a module, if you don't have one yet, and declare, way at the beginning, before any subroutine, a global variable that you use in this sub and in that sub. That's why it's global. Then we start the first subroutine. I call it equilibrium. You declare a few variables. Then use O-range. And because it's of the range type, you have to set it to the entire board on that sheet. That happens to be on sheet 2 in my case. Start at range A1 and take the entire current region that is up to the next empty row and column. Then with that O range, don't forget to close that with statement, with end with, store in the variable I row, which is of the long type, a random number between 1 and 8, and use the rand between function of worksheet function, otherwise you have to use int and rand. In I column you do something similar between 1 and 8. Then if of the entire range, O range dot self, but you don't type O range anymore because we have we do this inside a with statement. So dot self. I row, I column, if there happens to be an X, then make it an O, otherwise make it an X. Then we set in an offset, we use a count if function. And we count how many x's do we have, another count if, how many o's do we have. And don't forget to bring the global variable i up by 1 each time. Then we do a reset sub. We declare only a range type variable. We set that again to the current region and put in all those cells of the current region an x. That's our starting point. And clear the column 10 and column 11 or wherever you had put those columns. Don't forget to set the global variable back to zero and the end result is that we get this control shift E and it keeps building and building and building. VBA or formulas, whatever you prefer.